Since we're talking about manipulating data, let's talk a little bit about the built-in object called math. Math, this is an example, math.round, has a lot of built-in properties and methods that are going to help you manipulate any numerical data that you're working with. Just like with the other methods, you don't have to memorize them all, but you should really look at the Mozilla Developer Network page to see what math has to offer. A good example that I like to use with math is math.random, which I used in my zip line for the quote generator. There's something else that you should know about working with numbers that doesn't have to do with math. There's something called floating point format that JavaScript uses. What I, why I'm telling you this is later when you're doing a lot of calculations, depending on the calculations, how large the numbers are, how many calculations you're doing, there might be a little bit of inaccuracy, like four or five decimal points down the line. There are ways to get around this, and it's not that big of a deal, but I'm telling you this so if you're ever getting an error or there's some number that just isn't adding up right, it's not your fault that's built into the language, and there are plenty of ways around it.